Hello and welcome to this feature review video which will demonstrate the new reporting capabilities of VMware Cloud Direct Availability. Let's start with the RPO Compliance. It is a new report that can be generated from the Reports menu under the RPO Compliance Report tab and is accessible only to the system administrator. This report lists the RPO violations for one or all organizations during the specified time period. It doesn't contain data for migrations, but only for protections. You can apply an organization filter and limit the results to those related to replications of workloads owned by the selected one only. The other filtering options allow excluding the replications without violations or the deleted ones. It is possible to export it to an HTML or a TSV file that includes the site details, organization name and the list of violations. It is important to mention that this is a best effort report suitable mostly for troubleshooting purposes because it might not include all the violations due to some technical reasons. The recovery plans also receive a massive update that introduces real-time plan execution, monitoring and a detailed report with information about each step. When you select a DR or migration plan and pick a step, you can see the details about all its actions. If it fails, it is clearly indicated which part of the execution was problematic. This is valid while the plan is running or after it ends. After the plan execution completes, no matter its status and whether it is a test, cleanup or a real run, a report is generated that is accessible to the system and organization administrators through other actions reports. It is in HTML format and contains details such as general status, plan name, plan type, site, owner of the plan, number of steps, overall duration and breakdown per step. If it failed, you could see which action didn't finish successfully and the exact reason why. For consistency, there is no difference in the layout of the reports for test and actual runs. The execution results are available for 3 months or until the recovery plan is deleted. Thanks for watching.